Hi, this is Sarin. Already we studied uh, what is transportation problem, what is a transportation table, and also we studied what is feasible solution. Also we studied what is optimal solution. Also we studied three methods to find the feasible solution. One was northwest corner rule. One was least cost entry method and the third was modi method my mistake it was not modi method it was bam vogel's approximation method now here we will be studying about optimal solution i already told you the difference between feasible solution and optimal solution feasible solution means we just need to allocate items we need to send items but we are not worried about the cost but in optimal solution, we need to send the item as well as we need to reduce the cost. Okay. Optimal for finding optimal solution, we will be studying one method which is known as modified distribution method. This is also known as modi method. Okay, clear. Now here we will be studying modi method. Now, we have studied three methods to find the feasible solution, right? And when we applied the first method, that means the northwest corner rule, the answer was somewhat around 102 rupee. Answer was about 102 rupee. When we applied northwest corner rule. When we applied lowest cost entry method, the answer was somewhat around 83. And when we applied VAM, Vogel's approximation method, the cost was 80 clear clear about the three cost and we find that VAM has the minimum cost so this is the most efficient method okay so uh, when we want to find the optimal solution the first step will be first step will be let me rub this obtain one minute obtain optimal solution sorry obtain feasible solution obtain feasible solution by vogel's approximation method why we use vogel's approximation method the method out of the three methods vogel's approximation method gives, gives us the lowest cost so first solution is to find first step is to find feasible solution by vam method okay, uh, you can check the last video to uh, know how we will be finding this feasible solution by VAM. Uh, for time being, I am copying the solution for that so that it will be easy for me. You can see the last video to know how I make these allocations. Okay, this will be seven. This will be two. This will be two. Again, this will be ten. Okay. Okay, so first step was obtain feasible solution by VAM and now we obtained the feasible solution, right? Now second step is second step is obtain optimality equation. Obtain optimality equations. Okay, just check how I will be writing optimality equation. This optimality equation will be only for the allocated cells. Okay, so first allocated cell is O1 and D1 that means this cell right this cell this stick the cell for that the optimality equation will be uh, concentrate here O1 plus D1 is equal to 2 here there will not be any optimality equation because this is not an allocated cell now the optimality equation will be for this O2 plus D3 cell okay O2 plus D3 is equal to 1 likewise o3 plus d2 is equal to 4 o4 plus d1 is equal to 1 o4 plus d2 is equal to 6 o4 plus d3 is equal to 2 i'm hoping that till now i'm also correct even the high chance that even i can also get wrong okay 
this is the second step now i'm going to third step third step is uh, uh, i was planning to change the color now i need to change the color it will be easy next step is to solve the optimality equation solve the optimality equation okay here for solving we need to check which variable is repeating most number of times we can observe that o4 is repeating most number of times right o4 is repeating three times so put o4 is equal to zero since o4 is repeating most number of times i put o4 is equal to zero if you put o4 is equal to zero in this equation d1 will be one put uh, if you put o4 is equal to zero in this equation d2 will be six here d3 will be two now substitute the value of d1 d2 and d3 in these equations okay so uh, o1 plus d1 d1 is 1 1 is equal to so o1 is equal to 1 likewise o2 is equal to 1 minus 2 minus 1 o3 will be 4 minus d2 4 minus 6 right 4 minus 6 is 4 minus 6 is minus 2 clear so we solve the optimality equation and find the values of uh, d1 d2 d3 as well as o1 o2 and o3 clear now next step is we need to write cij matrix next step is we need to write cij matrix just check how we will be writing cij matrix Okay, C A J matrix. I am going to write C A J matrix. It's concentrated here, else you will be getting doubts. Okay, this is an allocated cell. Put into in all the allocated cells. This is an allocated cell. I put into here. This is an allocated. This is an allocated cell. This is an allocated cell. This is an allocated cell. Right. I put into in all those allocated cells. This was O1, right? Value of O1 is what is the value of O1? One. Clear. Value of O2 is minus one. Value of O3 is minus two. Value of O4 we put O4 as zero, right? Let me check whether this value is correct. I think it is correct. Now value of D1. E is equal to one. D two e is equal to minus one. D three e is equal to minus two. Clear? Now, uh, now we need to write the C A J matrix, right? This, in this cell, this value can be found by O one plus D two. O one plus D two. O one plus D two e is equal to. Some way it goes wrong, I think. D two was six. D two was six. My mistake. D two. I made some mistakes. D two was six, and D three was two. All of those are correct, right? So O one 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 plus minus one uh, plus six seven. One plus two three. Adding these two these two values, okay? Minus one and one zero. Again, I made mistakes. I made some mistake. D1 was one, right? O2 is two is minus one. O2 is minus one. So minus one. Uh, see, J matrix. Somewhere, some mistake. Not getting O one. O one is one. O two is minus one. O three is minus two. V one is one. V two is equal to six. V three is equal to two. No doubt the, till there. C A J matrix O two uh, and that was D one. D one is one. 
O2 is minus 1. Minus 1 and plus 1. There is no mistake, right? Minus 1 and plus 1, 0. Uh, 6, 5. There is no mistake. Okay, I got the mistake. I, got, I understood the mistake. Minus 2 and uh, minus 2 and 1. Minus 1. This again into this is 0. Okay. I've made a very big mistake. This matrix is known as this matrix is not CIJ matrix. My mistake, my mistake. Really sorry. This matrix is known as UI plus VJ matrix. This matrix is known as UI plus VJ matrix. Clear? This is not a CIJ matrix. This matrix is known as UI plus VJ matrix. So it will be very difficult for me to do it, to do it again. So <coughs> just cut the name as CIJ and just write as UI plus VJ matrix. Okay. Now I am writing the fifth step. Fifth step is CIJ matrix. CIJ matrix. Okay. Just look how we will be writing CIJ matrix. Okay. Now put into in all the allocated cells. This is an allocated cell, this is an allocated cell, allocated cell, allocated cell. Put into in all of the allocated cells. Copy all of the values. Here 7. Here uh, 3, here 3, here 4, copy all of the values 7, 4, 3, 3, 5, 7. This is CIJ matrix. Clear? This, this matrix is known as CIJ matrix. First one was UI plus DJ. Now, next step. Sixth step is we need to find DIJ matrix where D stands for difference. Okay? D stands for difference. For finding DIJ matrix, the formula is CIJ minus UI plus VJ. The formula is CIJ minus UI plus VJ. Now, the CIJ matrix is this matrix. UI plus VJ matrix is this matrix. We need to take the difference. Simple as that. Okay, we just need to take the difference. Okay, put into in the all the allocated cells. Uh, put into here, into here, into here, into here. Now we need to find the difference here 7, 7. We need to find the difference between CIJ and DIJ and UA plus VJ, right? So it will be 7 minus 7, 0. 4 minus 3, 1. 3 minus 0, 3. 3 minus 5, minus 2. 5 minus of minus 1, 6. 5 minus of minus 1. So it will be 6. 7 minus 0, 7. So this is the dij matrix okay now check whether dij matrix is having any negative element or not you need to check whether dij matrix is having any negative element or not if there is no negative element the solution is optimal just uh, make the concept clear we need to check whether dij matrix whether DIJ matrix is having negative elements or not. If there is no negative element, the solution is optimal. Since there is one negative element, the solution is not optimal. So just write, since there is negative element, the solution is optimal. Solution is not optimal. Right? Since negative element is there, solution is not optimal. So, we need to reallocate. So, reallocating. Since solution is not optimal, we need to reallocate. Now, go back to the allocated cells. Go back to the allocated cell. Hmm. Concentrate, else you will be getting a lot of doubts. Okay. Here it will be 2, 7, 4. I am rewriting this, okay? 3, oops, 3, 3, 1, 5, 4, 7, 1, 6, 2. Got it? Now let me make the allocations in bracket. Here 5, uh, here 8, 
here 7 here 2 here 2 here 10 clear these are the allocations right now let me write the demand also demand 7 9 18 and the supply 5 8 7 14 clear now just concentrate here there is negative right here there is negative as a result this allocation is not proper so in order to avoid this negative i am allocating plus two here i allocate plus two here now just observe this pattern of observe this 2 plus 8 it will be 10 right but we are having only 8 items again 2 plus 7 9 9 plus 2 11 we are having only 9 here we are having only 9 item so there is a mismatch right here the total will be 10 we are having a supply of only 8 we are in need of 9 only but they are giving us 11 item so in order to avoid this I reduce 2 from here and I make it 6. In order to avoid this imbalance, I reduce 2 from here. Clear? Now just check here. This area, just uh, just check 10 plus 2, 12. But here it's 14. Okay? Here 10 plus 6, 16. Here it's 18, right? In order to avoid the same imbalance, I'm adding 2 here. So this 10 will change us to 12. This is the new allocation. Clear? This is the new allocation. Using this allocation, we need to find the transportation cost. We can find the transportation cost by 2 by multiplying and adding. 2 into 5 plus 3 into 2 plus 4 into 7 plus 1 into 2 plus 2 into 12. Right? 1 into 2 is something plus 1 into 6 by adding you will be getting the transportation cost as 76 rupees clear now we got new allocation right now we got new allocation now we need to check whether this allocation we need to check whether this allocation is right or not for that again we need to write the feasible uh, optimality equation and we need to find ca matrix da uh, ua plus cj matrix and DAJ matrix and we need to check whether there is negative or not. Is it clear? I will tell again. Now you got one solution, right? We need to check whether this solution is optimal or not. For that, you need to repeat the steps from step 2. That means you need to again write the optimality equation. You need to uh, <coughs> solve it. You need to find UI plus VJ. You need to find CA j matrix you need to find DAJ matrix. In the end, if you didn't get a negative element, this solution is optimal okay this solution is optimal you will be getting answer here i am stopping here you need to do it again okay you need to do repeat the step two step three step four step five and step six again and in the end you will be getting no negative so this is the optimal cost the cost will be 76 rupees i hope you are clear